Ooh! Should I slice this up for the road? You wanna get out of here? Yes, I do. Hey, Sean. Smoothies are here. Pineapple? Of course. Thanks, Buzz. Now let's go say hello to our new neighbors. Hello, everyone! Who wants pineapple? Be honest. Ah, you guys can slice it up, fight over it later. What the hell is a muskum? It was a very common name of the era. History Channel. ESPN, Gus. Channel 206. Mm -hmm. I'm begging you. That's all you did? Check the doors and the windows? Yeah, why? So the kidnapper is the one roasting this new movie online. He also wrote, The Guilty Will Pay. The Guilty Will Pay? Yep. Wow. One of these comic book freaks has clearly blurred the line between reality and comic book. Plus, double chocolate mango pineapple scones. Apparently made fresh daily. What I'm saying, guys, the morning is essentially a win-win. What? <laughs> Are you really willing to just dismiss the idea that there's life on other planets? This is what I got. I know he was dragged out there. Otherwise, no sign of assault, nothing taken. Aside from the embarrassment of waking up naked in a field, we've got nothing to hang our hats on. Someone we know, someone we love, someone we invited into our I just saw that woman at the courthouse. Night. That's Sandra Panish, the fourth grade teacher who murdered Jackson Hill. Don't you watch the news? I can't watch Channel 8 anymore. Lloyd Lansing wears a toupee. It's like every newscast starts with a lie. Sean, I left my retreat to solve a crime, not to order takeout. That's exactly what we're doing. Hi there. What time do you turn those lights on? At five, for the beginning of the dinner crowd. I'm getting a very, very strong psychic vibration. He's gonna lose. Big. What could you possibly ask that girl that the police already have it? Want to split a pineapple? I'm sorry, do I know you? My name is Ichabod Fletchman. Sticky icky to my boys, but that's neither here nor there. What's important is that this baby is 82% Hawaiian, and I've got all afternoon. Knock, knock, you have a visitor. What's Spencer doing here? Look, I insisted. Emmeline is my favorite judge. Okay, this is creepy. Why is Gus here? What do you think, Sean? He's a hostage. Look, I'm sorry, Sean. I don't know what you want me to say to you. I don't know either. Pretty sure it's the thought that counts. <laughs> and you're good enough to come and meet me here my last free night before my parents arrive? In that shirt. What did I say about regret, Gus? What did I say? I think you pull it off. Blurt out something nonsensical, do it now. Key laces, shoeboards, pineapples! Oh no, the visions have become too complex for one person to decipher. Gus, might I offer my help? Yes, Sean, you may. Magic head. Jeez, this computer is ancient. I didn't realize ColecoVision was still in business. All right, I'm in. You know what's not a good idea? What? Pineapple and movie theater popcorn flavored jelly beans. That's disgusting. Happy baby gift. Uh, thank you. It's a mini rattle and also a low calorie breath freshener. Oh, great. Is there anything I can do for you guys? We just wanted to say hi. Okay. Oh, uh, Sean, I'm glad that you're here. Gus, Gus, slow down. What the heck? The Custers are nice people, okay? They invite you over for dinner at 6, they don't serve till 6.30, so what? The point is, as a rule, you never want to get involved in a case where personal relationships are involved. In. What are you doing? The lady's tea's up there. She is so beautiful. Dude, I gotta get you out of here. My grandfather. Here, 
These pineapple peking dumplings are special for you, Chad. Thank you, Kelly, you sweet little thing. Now, what did I tell you about taking care of your stuff? You know what, you're right. First my tricycle out in the yard, now this. I see a pattern developing here. Is there any chance at all you'll stay? No. But I'm sure we'll see each other around. Did you just call me honey? I did not. I was going to say hunchback. You better take off that robe. I will. And I know what you're trying to do. What, innocently flip through a photo album? Fearless Guster's a badass. Let's check the basement. I can't. What about the old woman? Young woman. She does Shakespeare in the parking lot. Down at the Albertsons by Lacumbra Plaza. She was so stoked to finally have a paying gig. Just put it on, Sean. Okay, fine. Excuse me. Few lines do not randomly spring leaks. There's a killer out there, and he or she fails, so they're bound to try again. Gus, Jack, and I are tied up in a cabin about a hundred yards off Tunnel Road, right by where we had the pulled pork sandwiches that one time. A man and a woman, dangerous, highly skilled with military weapons, but not U.S. military, smuggled weapons. We know he's been asking around town about us, trying to figure out our whereabouts. We thought he finally found us. Sean! Oh, uh, I'm sorry, buddy. You know I'm not really a regular person, right, Phil? What does that mean? I tried once and failed. I'm just too unique and interesting. <laughs> they plump when you cook them. They plump. You have to customize, match the gift with the individual. The problem is Carl already knows we're on to him. He's not gonna let us get close enough to figure out what he's up to. And now Gus is pissed and he's kicking people out. Yeah, well, fooling around with your best friend's sister certainly wasn't your most brilliant idea. Chief. I didn't know you'd be coming by today. I actually hadn't planned to, but... Oh, no. It's not the record. I'm only 75% sure he didn't do it. Gus. What? He's got from yesterday. I strongly believe... Excuse us! We're looking for the fireman. He's probably wearing a yellow or red hard hat, maybe carrying an axe, possibly a large bucket of sand. And a Dalmatian. Google missing foot, that was your plan? Not all of it. Dude, this feels like a family establishment, doesn't it? Run, run, go, 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 run, run, serpent time, serpent time, zigzag, go, hide it here. Where are you going? We're never gonna make it. Can we go now? No, where's Gus? I think he got abducted. Oh, good there he is. Hey, Gus. Perfect. Step on it. You two didn't team up for the pinata contest this year, did you? No. You ditched me for golden boy Jason Cunningham, who wins every year. And I got stuck with the kid who wore the jacket the entire week. Hello, Sissy. Hi, Slex. A um, confidant told me not to brazen that I should proceed with caution. Mm. And then I realized that's exactly my problem. I never took any chances. I didn't seize the moment. I never let my emotions carry me. I, I, I analyzed it all to death, pr protecting myself or protecting something. I don't even know what it is, but that's why we're here in this place. I want to restart. Hello? A mime, though? Really, Sean? I don't know, you don't really strike me as a mime guy. <laughs> no, 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 the mime had nothing to do with me. This mime is clearly working on his own. Note to self, be rich one day. If I belonged to a club like this, I'd have to cancel my membership on account of them letting in the likes of me. And if you voted for me, well, I'm afraid you don't belong in my club either. Whoa, 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 I don't want him bleeding oh. all over my couch. Hmm. There you go. Okay, easy. Oh. That's better. Why do people that I try to help 
usually end up getting arrested? Well, Sean, sometimes people you think are innocent turn out to be guilty and vice versa. Agatha is over everybody. Agatha just wants to be left alone. That is when she became possessed. I wanted him off the streets. What am I supposed to do? Poison him. Blow him up. What are you watching? Footage from the night that Mina was almost killed. On the screen on the right's a performance from about a week ago. What are you watching this for? We were all there. Went over the stage with a fine tooth comb. Just something that Sean said at the crime scene. Hindi Maldia. You should marry her. Daddy. <laughs> she's, uh, she's not on tonight's menu, sorry. I can't believe you've been holding out on me for all these years. You know it's one of my lifelong dreams to be a part of a four-piece singing group. Five pieces is my backup. Okay, folks, here we go. Keep your hands on this brand new, beautiful truck. See how long you can last. Last man standing drives it home. So this is where Sean is living. Odd that it takes him being shot and dragged away in a trunk for me to actually get an invitation. Technically, you didn't have an invitation. True. Well, it's not like the annual pass at Disneyland. That was a very special circumstance. Ewan, you don't have to do that. You've done enough already. Maybe if I had a normal job with regular hours like you do. Sean, I think you're missing the point. I'm not totally available to you. Sean, listen there to me. There are things I... that I have to do. Abigail, looks like you're a big hit with Sean's dad. Yeah, but the only one that I can't win over is Sean. Ruby, I need to talk to you. Hi, come on up. Are you nuts? That's dangerous. Waring's office, right over there. But, but the, the place had a, a bunch of, uh, of uh, tiki torches. Are you sure this is the place? I'm absolutely positive, Donnie. My psychic senses are never off. And this is the bar in your hotel. What? Okay, I'm never drinking again. Let me buy you and your friends a drink. I will have a club soda with three pineapple wedges. And if you can get the hippie hippie shake going, flip a few glasses and introduce me to Elizabeth's shoe, there's an extra fiber in it for you. Where's the pineapple? You guys don't have any pineapple? Uh, let me just say that I am very happy to see that things are going well with you and your doctor lady friend. 36, 37, 38, 39. It's 12.05 on the dot. The hell are we supposed to be looking for? Ladies and gentlemen, please have your raffle tickets when entering the Santa Barbara Chinatown system. Thank you. Mrs. Blake. I'm sensing that Ben felt great remorse for his actions. Dude. What? You have a replica of Captain Adama's helmet from the original Battlestar Galactica? Mm. Mm. Ah, I don't feel right. I hate to say this, but I think we may have gotten some bad pineapple on that pizza. How's your stomach? I'm fine. Really? Ah, maybe it wasn't pineapple. Put your hands behind your back. Gus, for goodness sake, careful. Oh, look at that. You and old Herb have the same swimsuit. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start a grease fire in the men's bathroom. You out of your mind? I used to work at that church. And Percy would help me clean the place. After school, we didn't make much money, but it was enough to put food on the table. I think I have a solution to all our problems. I want to hire you to prove my innocence. You can't hire us, we're trying to capture you. It's crazy. He just raced up the stairs and into the ride while I was still running. Why would he do that? I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. Hey, are you eating caramel in there? Do you have something you want to tell us, Mr. Barker? <sighs> Twelve years ago, Michelle's sister Lucy ran away from Dual Spires, taking seven-year-old Paula with her. We were worried sick about Paula. 
squeeze it. Somebody's at the door. I have arranged for someone else to take you on your ride along today. What? Jules, you can't bail on us now. I simply cannot comprehend how you could be so careless considering who your father is. Where is the bear? Don't worry about the bear. The bear is safe. I'm the one that's trying to keep it from getting euthanized. You remember a shirt that Sean had as a kid? It was a sky blue shirt with a dark blue collar. So, psychic, please explain. <laughs> <laughs> Which they all ate using the same fork. Sean, you're not even listening. Though if you were getting a little extra something from uh, Uncle Brady. <laughs> Wouldn't be mad at that. Lord knows I used them when I was playing. Yeah, I never touched that stuff and I never will. Well, I can respect that. Where are you? Well, we stopped for smoothies. Three pineapple razzmatazzes and a uh, sanity boost for my buddy over there. I don't have any American dollars. This is very, very special stuff. <laughs> One of life's great pleasures. Sean, you think every round food is an apple? No, I don't. Okay. What are these? Tiny apples. And those? Halloween apples. Dead man was a cop. I had no idea. You have to believe me. Slice! Slice! Slice what? What do you want me to slice? Oh, no, not you! Slice of cheese. Oh, here. Uh, the, the orange guy. Oh, yeah. Um, mm. um, yes, I would like to very much. <clears throat> but we are so late, Gus, and... These coffee cups are not going to put themselves away. It's designed for a lock that you cannot see. Deep inside something else. Like in a cake. No. Everybody in the building gives a little gift, and then I make it look all purty. Here you go. Welcome to Prospect Gardens. Hello, Melinda. Thank, Thank you, you for that. Something's weighing on you. Wow. You are so intuitive, Sean. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> oh, what do you know? She was into old Bob, huh? No. Looks like Mr. Lonely wasn't so lonely after all. Well, let's pay her a visit and make this little piggy squeal. Or we could just ask her some questions. I'm having a psychic vision that there was a recent renovation here. Yes, we just moved this wall back. I'll be right back. Are you kidding me? You just crashed at the police station. Maximus, I told you so many times not to do it indoors on the floor, little man. All right, I found some green apple Jolly Ranchers, but that's the best that I can do. Carlton! He's here! He's alive! Carlton, talk to me! Tell me you're okay! Oh, I don't know. I may have jumped the gun. Is that just his torso? Oh, you were all hard! Smell something. Battered. Fried. Sweet. Oh God. Gus, don't be the second time ever I saw your face. I know my scat show. Stop it. Very hard. Stop. Bojangles. Stop it. Ricardo Waddlebot. Anyway. I know, you know, that I'm not telling the truth. I'm sorry? The killer is in this room. The killer in this room or not, yes or no? Yes. Yes, the killer is in this room or yes, the killer is not in this room. The killer is Leslie the groupie. I gotta tell you, I sometimes have trouble reading social cues, especially cross-culturally. Uh, all right, I'm sensing that Elon was your son's uh, au pair. 
No, she was his wife, some psychic. Hey, can you be uh, helpful? Dave, sorry to interrupt you from being drunk and super sloppy, but we have one more question. Do you drive a black Ford? The only thing I drive is that Schwinn. Life has been miserable without you. <laughs> we were supposed to be together forever, but then you left me. What's that apple core supposed to be? Ooh, well, that is just uh, an apple core that's not supposed to be there, Bill. Boom. Now it's a rec center. <laughs> Nice work, Sally. Thank you. That's a scratch and sniff sticker for you. Since we were on the show, we consider ourselves family. This hurts us just as much as it hurts you. Ow! Santa Barbara, you are entering the smooth storm. Can love lightning be caught in a man bottle? The answer when we return after this commercial break. <laughs> oh, please. I'm all about touching respectfully <laughs> may i use your powder room back when i was on the force we used to say you never ask suspects sometimes you just had to go back to square one come on <laughs> ow <I> think, ow <laughs> oh gosh why oh gosh <laughs> Over the last seven years, we've solved something in the neighborhood of, what, a hundred homicides? <laughs> in our defense, I must say, when one is facing their own mortality, you do tend to want to connect with loved ones. We stop for a quick dinner. And this town needs a man who can stop this reign of terror catching bad guys like flies. When he's given room for error, it you out in the end. Why? Uh, because they ruined his life, in a nutshell. And your boy went all Mikey Douglas from falling down. Which I saw again recently, by the way. Hair was a bold choice. No way around that. Oh, good morning, Connie. Good morning, Morty. Hey, set up Santa Barbara. I'm Morty Camp. And this sitting here right next to me is my lovely wife. Well, hello there. This is Harris Trout, the interim police chief for the Santa Barbara Police Department. Do you have a reservation? Yes, Dr. Allen Champion. Hmm? Forgive this interruption. The next round is on me. What are we gonna do? I'm right here. What are we gonna do? You're gonna give this joker a chicken, fried, skittles, PB and J. Jive turkey ain't gonna know what hit him. Good one, thing. Uh, here you go. That's right, Professor Stein. You got baloney on your face, son. You got lunch meat. Right on your face, kid! Dude, what are you doing? Who <laughs> lives like this? Papa Bear. Can't solve your problem today, Sean. Oh, hey! Should I slice this up for the road? 